Criticate! Fuck! <laughs> and furthermore, something I love about this <laughs> You're game. You're just going into the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Something I love about this game is every uh, every level is a boss, and typically the bosses are pretty uh, varied and unique and cool. Uh, which, okay, what's your about, <laughs> dick? I, I, well, I, I mentioned in an earlier episode, I, bosses in, in Sonic is inherently confusing, because it's, like, the rest of the game is not built around you beating enemies, it's built around you completing the platforming. So to have a boss is just weird. Mm -hmm. Like, like, Mario doesn't have bosses, it has Bowser, but you just jump over him. I mean, that depends on what game you're playing. That, that, a lot of Mario that's games true. have bosses. A lot of Mario games have bosses, but... Uh, more of the bossy ones have uh, enemies, and, and fighting's more important. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't agree with you on that point, because a lot of platformers don't uh, focus on beating enemies. I mean, Mario sure doesn't. It's about going forward. Exactly. So, so saying, saying that Sonic bosses are inherently confusing because the rest of the game doesn't prioritize combat... Seem, it, I I don't agree with that. Well, I, I'm just saying from a design perspective, when you have an enemy, when you have a, a character whose thing is I beat enemies by bouncing on them. Yeah. Designing a boss around that is incredibly hard, well, and it's and, and it's why a lot of Sonic. Oh shit, I'm fucked. Well, I believe that that Sonic bosses. I mean, because Sonic, his whole thing isn't just bouncing on enemies. All he has to be. B is in the spiky circle and he has to hit them. So he can get them yeah. from the side, he can even hit them from the bottom as long as he's spinning. So yeah, I feel like Sonic a... uh, translate better to bosses than even Mario does. Well, Mario doesn't translate to bosses, that's my point. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that, that's why I think it's so weird. I think if bosses are cleverly designed, any character can be uh, um, and gameplay but, style. But can what be I'm saying is, is a, a simplistic combat system where you can hit enemies from any side, you just have to be in a ball. It, it, it makes it hard to design competent bosses. And that's something I want to sing to this game's praises because I think the bosses are competently developed. The bosses are as as fantastically developed as they can be in the limited system that they have. It, they're, they're fantastic, don't get me wrong, but they could be better. I, I mean, I, they could be better if this was a game about combat, or I think the game could be better if they just removed them. So you think the game should just be nothing but just running straight? Yeah, I think the game should be a platformer. I <laughs> feel like... Whoops. I, I personally disagree. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like Sonic's at its best when it's varied. And that's, that's something I, I love about classic Sonic games is that despite being 2D platformers, they're all varied. They, they, they try their best to, to give you different things to deal with. Uh, and even in, in the classic games where I don't really like them so much, like I don't like Sonic CD all that much, but um, that game's system of, of finding the things and then having the power to go back in time, but it only if you get build up enough speed, that, that perfectly, like, that automatically adds variation to every level because you're trying to find those spots where you can build up that speed, and it's hard. It's hard to travel in time in Sonic CD. Uh, Sorry, I'm focused on the game. Oh, yeah, that's Cause, fine. Cause <laughs> well, like, it did another thing. Like, the same thing we were mentioning before. Going forward was left this time, though, and so I had to keep holding it to go right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just it's so wanky. Wanky? Wanky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's wanky a thing? Wanky. Yeah. Oh. All right, so at least it's a thing that I say. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a shit if anyone else says it. <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> I like it. I'll start saying that. Sure. Oh, I actually never got the uh, the dash boots in this game, so I like the way. Oh, that ever? It, yeah. Uh, in in uh, the in, that's a reference to Sonic Advance. Yeah. Uh, uh, when Sonic goes really fast in that game, he creates an after image, and so in this game, when when Sonic gets the dash boots, he does a little after image, and that's cute. Yeah. yeah that's cute. Uh, and I can see this game. I think this game is the best classic Sonic game. Yeah. But I do think a lot of it is weakened to people who aren't fans of the Sonic. Oh license. yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but I, I mean, this game isn't made for the general public. This is no, made no, no. For it's, Sonic it's for fans. Sonic. Like that's which the is demographic. good. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what you want. And, and it's not, and it doesn't feel corporate or underhanded. It just no. feels like you're playing a sick ass original Sonic game, which is what people have been asking for. But it doesn't feel corporate or weird. Yeah. And that's something I appreciate a lot. Well, I, I think Sonic Two feels a little corporate and weird. Yeah, I do like, too. But but there are people who love that game, and, and this references that as as part of the love of Sonic Two, mm -hmm. not as part of like the the weird 
trying to cash in on making fancy characters like Tails, who just walks around and does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that That's pretty much part of the whole, this is the second game, so we have two times the characters, yeah. two times the Tails. Yeah. And I personally, I don't really like Sonic and Tails running together. Uh, yeah, it feels weird. Cause it feels weird. It, it um, Tails is... Uh, will collect rings and take hits for you. Yeah, he makes the game real easy. Uh, and so just playing a Sonic by himself feels... Or, or just Tails by himself. His Tails is really fun to play as. Yeah. And he opens up a lot of... Tails is like easy mode. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, um, because this game is, you know, you gotta find the best routes. Uh, but if you miss one as Tails, just... Just fly, fly back just fly up. back over to it. <laughs> and so, like, like that's cool, though. Like, ah, I, I actually do like that decision. Because it, it, uh, as, as a character... Because in Sonic 2, you couldn't play as Tails. Like, no. you could play as him as the second player. Yeah. But, but you, not you as... physically... So when they added the ability to play as Tails in Sonic 3 and Knuckles through all the same stages in the yeah. same game, uh, I feel like that was an excellent design decision because it adds, a, it adds an easy mode. Well, it adds an easy mode, and it, it also... Uh, it does the thing that we were talking about for Sonic Adventure One, where you get to you get to play the same levels as a different character and explore them differently. Mm -hmm. And and that also applies to Knuckles in this game as well. Yes, because Knuckles feels different as fuck. Yeah, it also applies to to Knuckles. They had the the cartridge that allowed you to like play past Sonic games as Knuckles. Yeah, only Sonic Two. I, well, Sonic, are you Sonic sure? Two I and then Sonic Three Sonic and one. Knuckles. But that uh, you can, but that's a ROM hack. Okay. Yeah, if you try and put Sonic One in there, it takes you to a cute little screen. Well, that's then like, I, I no, remember no, no. doing it. So <laughs> you must have done it on a ROM hack or something. Maybe. I, uh, I don't know. Or maybe maybe it was like an official. Fucking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember to hold it the right way. Remember <laughs> to hold it left when you're going right. Uh. <laughs> see, I feel like that's just you being bad. <laughs> like I feel like that's not. What are you not... talking about? That's just natural. You're going right. You should go I've right. I've never seen anyone else have that issue. Really? Yeah. Ever? Ever? I. <laughs> you go. You go. You're you're going left, and then you're supposed to just keep holding left when you go right. Oh, I love this. I boss. mean, I, I, what I usually do is just stop holding anything because that that's more efficient. Okay. Like, like and it, it it precludes me from fucking up when they switch it to the other way. I just hold whatever direction I'm holding, and then if Sonic is still running, he just keeps his momentum. It's it's me wanting to interact with the game. And the game not letting me. I think this, okay, this is a really cleverly designed boss fight, and I really like it because it deals with physics, it deals with, with Sonic speed, it feels, uh, it deals Sonic with. Sonic speed? Yeah, because, because when you're not swinging Why? on the ropes, uh, the way that you knock it into, like, like that area where you just in where they're on either side, yeah. you have to, uh, run and, and, and smash into it. Why would I do that instead of just waiting? Uh, I, yeah, whatever, dominant strategy, Jacob. <laughs> it feels I more mean, fun. I, I guess. It's just it, it, the the risk to me is is greater than the reward I get. So I don't know. Try and hit him. Try and get him this time. Why? It's fun. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun with that. <laughs> no but, Jacob. No but. I'm not no butting you. You just no butted me <laughs> really hard. I did what you wanted. I hit the. <laughs> that's not what I. That's clearly not what I meant. I don't have to obey you. You're not my fucking master, Robert. <laughs> I just have to agree with you and take it to comedic place, and I did. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> dickhole. Uh, it doesn't make you any less of an asshole. No, no. My favorite quote from the Big Lebowski: "You're not wrong, Walter. You're just an asshole." <laughs> That's pretty much yeah. That, like <laughs> that's our dynamic. Like if they had a a Criticade uh, Roberts line. story, it would be <laughs> it'd be that repeatedly for several hours. Yeah, I don't think I'm an asshole though. No, I, I bring up stuff. You just nicely. do dickish ga things in the games when I tell you to. I do I like games. fucking with people. <laughs> yeah. I like fucking with you. Yeah, it's fun. It's funny. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> All right, uh, this is. Was this an original level? No, 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 no. I, at least I don't think so. It might have been a, a Knuckles one, like a Sonic and Knuckles one. I mm. didn't get as far in that game. Oh, no, I th I'm pretty sure this is. Really? Because this is the one that's the printing press. The printing press? I don't think that's Look really in the cool. back. It's called Press Grow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a printing press. I, I thought you meant, like, there's a printing press boss or something. No, like, no, no, no. I don't remember that. Yeah, no, you, the level I, I have itself played is this, a printing press. Yeah, I, I've played this game, in. I've played this level in Sonic Mania. Uh, yeah, I've no. Past this, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is exclusive to Mania. Because he has this enemy. Like, I'm passing the buzzsaw. 
Uh, one of my favorite enemies is that one in in uh, in uh, Studiopolis that you fought. That yeah. the one that has the three orbs around it, and then in, the more orbs you destroy, the sadder it gets, and then you just kill it, and it just looks sad. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Jesus, why do you get such pleasure from that pain? It's so fun. It's Jeez, cute. Dude. It's cute, and it's and it's dynamically designed. And that's the thing I love about this game is it's animated beautifully, and the stages are beautiful, and all the characters are so expressive. And every time it's uh, very, uh, you can never dock Sonic points for not being aesthetic. That's true. <laughs> All of the Sonic games, even the classic ones, uh, especially pretty, yeah, the classic ones are pretty pretty. They're they're beautiful. I mean, that's the thing about Sonic is is the thing that it had over Mario in the '90s was that it had its sick ass design. Sonic had Sonic has a simplistic design that looks cool, uh, and he just does cool things, and he has a cool power that people like, and he and he um looks pretty, and the graphics are nice, and that's you know Mario. Mario was already an existing place in the household in, in 1991 when Sonic yeah. came out. Like, you can't... It's hard to get excited by Mario. And that's why they take him to space or take him on an odyssey <laughs> or take him to on a vacation in the later games. Uh, and it's like... You know what? I would argue that they still keep it pretty normal. Like, the first 3D Mario is just him at a castle. Oh, yeah, they, of course. They don't, they course. don't overthink it. it but, but, I mean, that was, that was like, the first giant was a three, 3D, yeah, platform. 3D like, platform. Like, like there's always a gimmick to Mario. But Sonic can I just... Guess. Sonic can Odyssey get by by just like doing Sonic game. shit. And, and just by going into the cool, creative Sonic world and, and having fun. Uh, I guess, but then the, Sonic does that too. I mean, they've got Sonic in the Black Knight, Sonic oh, yeah, in the Secret Oh, yeah, well, that's because that's at that Th point, then Sonic... It gets, I'm talking about what, what Sonic had over Mario in the 90s. Yeah, but Mario is older. So. Yeah, and by, by the time... Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's just what happens that's, in games. It's Sonic it was newer and sexier. That's what... Not sexier. So that was sexy. Fuck, stop. Oh, fucking the, Sonic. You know what I mean? Stop. <laughs> Spin dash right into me, baby. Stop, Jacob. I'm getting horny. <laughs> And if you want to hear Jacob and I jerk off, check out the next episode of Sonic Mania. You have to be here for the between episodes. <laughs> <laughs> check out the recording we're putting on Twitter. It's us jerking our <sighs> dorks. Contribute to our Patreon if you want to hear us jerking off. <laughs> <laughs>